Imagine stepping into a bookstore and feeling the irresistible pull of every shelf, where each book beckons with a promise of a unique adventure. But as your eyes roam over the titles, a stark truth emerges, the quiet bias that taints our literary landscape. The books most prominently displayed are those of American authors weaving Western narratives while our Filipino voices and stories linger in the shadows. These subtle signs of decline echo in everyday conversations such as newspapers are for the old and magazines have lost their allure. But in this very moment, right here, right now, I want to awaken something within you. I want you to feel the gravity of this challenge and to recognize its pressing urgency. This is more than just about the re-envisioning of the literary landscape. It's about the profound transformation of lives. So hello everyone, I'm Talia, quick plug. But I want to take everyone on a journey, a journey that has the power to change lives, ignite dreams, and inspire hope. So as we confront this pressing issue, have you dared to imagine what if? What if writers are given the opportunity to amplify their voices and share their stories with the world? What if writers are able to earn an income from their craft and are no longer forced to take on so-called practical jobs instead? What if bookstores proudly displayed more Filipino-written books instead? And what if writers like you and me could easily unite in support of our shared dream offering each other encouragement we so desperately need. These are the questions that bore significant weight, not only on my shoulders, but on the thoughtful mind of my grandfather. Long before my grandfather became a published author and adorned the shelves with his published works, he was a writer at heart. His love for stories was infectious, and I too soon discovered a love for the art of storytelling. I had the privilege of witnessing his ascent within the writer's realm, but more significantly, I saw him lift other writers alongside him, providing them a stage to amplify their voices and share their unique narratives with the world. His work planted a seed of inspiration within me. I yearned to continue his legacy, to be able to create a platform for young writers and to empower them in their journey. I wanted to help writers become creators of great literature, ready to be published and take space in the literary scene. But this path was not as easy as following a yellow brick road. Becoming an ebook author, a writer for local and international media companies, an anthology contributor, and later on an editor was a journey fraught with challenges. The literary scene resembled a labyrinth filled with daunting obstacles guarded by gatekeepers and marked by a scarcity of support and resources. I spent countless hours scouring the internet for writing opportunities, pouring my heart into editing and crafting pieces in hopes of sharing them with the world, and anxiously waiting for the responses of publishers. I also grappled with the relentless weight of imposter syndrome, often questioning my decisions and worth in a competitive field where opportunities for exposure, experience, and even financial stability felt elusive. I was not alone in navigating these challenges, unfortunately. As I engaged with writers, publishers, and fellow business owners, many shared in these struggles. Yet among these challenges, one looms largest, the lack of collaboration between writers and publishers holding back the incredible potential that writers possess. This gap hinders the literary scene from realizing its full splendor, stifling the voices that could have been heard and the stories that could have been told, all because writers felt lonely in their craft. These are the challenges that many aspiring writers are facing, each grappling with their unique trial and a shared quest for success. And these are the challenges we are so committed to addressing. The frustrations that many writers and publishers dealt with fueled our determination to create a platform. A platform that would serve as a beacon of hope for writers, a treasure trove for publishers, and a testament to the incredible power of dreams. Thus, Indico was born. 
we are working towards evolving into a thriving ecosystem for writers of all backgrounds, an inclusive space where a writer, regardless of skill and experience, has the opportunity to be heard. We are not trying to be one product, one platform for worldwide needs. We very much target the Philippines and for each of the markets we tap into, we localize our product and the partners we use. Up until this point, we have nurtured the aspirations of nearly 400 writers through a variety of means, such as hosting book signing events, organizing writing competitions, publishing books, showcasing their work and talent, and more. But tomorrow, we want to be the platform where you will take hold of your future in this industry. We'll help you find writing opportunities, manage your submissions, and secure publication with our Steam partner companies. We'll help publishers find you, the writer they've always been looking for. Just like one of our writers, Ava, who embarked on her journey with us, initially confining herself to the realms of STEM, doubting her own capacity to craft exceptional literature. Yet through her participation in our workshops, mentorship programs, events, coupled with multiple publications under our banner, she found the encouragement to break free from her constraints. Today, she is receiving recognition from prominent publishing houses. Her work is reaching a wider audience, and her love and passion for writing was reignited with an unstoppable fervor. We know writing can be a lonely task sometimes. Thus, our goal extends beyond advancing your career. It's about enhancing your craft. With us, you'll discover, learn from, and even connect with like-minded individuals within the writing realm. We want to open a door to a world where writers can collaborate and become part of a supportive community who share the same dreams and aspirations. This sense of belonging, this warm embrace of a community is cultivated through our workshops, mentorship programs, events, and of course, our very own platform. Over the years, we've garnered unwavering support from forward-thinking companies and even secured funding from incubators and accelerators. This backing fueled our determination to push the boundaries of what's possible in the world of publishing. Our goal is crystal clear, to make publishers and writers emerge not only as winners, but as pioneers in a landscape that has often been misconstrued as niche, but it's far from it. It's been simply overlooked for far too long, causing the publishing industry to be stagnant. But today, we're here to change that. I want you to envision a world where the literature and publishing industry is not a daunting maze, but a thriving ecosystem where voices from every corner of the globe are heard, stories from diverse backgrounds are celebrated, and literature flourishes as a reflection of our shared human experience. An ideal world where the path to becoming a published author is not filled with obstacles, but illuminated by possibilities and fueled by dreams. So remember the what ifs. With Indigo, there is no longer a need to wonder. We are ushering in a democratized era where every storyteller and writer has a fair chance where creativity knows no bounds, and where aspiring writers can thrive. An ideal era where becoming a writer is celebrated as a viable and practical profession. Our Filipino voices and stories are no longer relegated to the shadows, and writers can easily connect and engage with one another openly. As we step into the future, let us remember that this is just the beginning. A beginning that my grandfather and his peers, who struggled in an era with limited access to opportunities, support, and resources, would have cherished and found inspiring. It's a sign of progress we made and the boundless potential that lies for aspiring and experienced writers ahead. This promise is extended to all storytellers from all walks of life, because in the grand mosaic of storytelling, every piece matters and every voice resonates. And together we can create an emotional symphony that touches hearts, transcends borders, and inspires change.